What's up? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be taking a look at the TCO Stylus 5G after I've been using it for about one year and seven months right now. So it's going on two years since I had this device and I wanted to talk about like using it in 2024. But if you're brand new to the channel, I truly appreciate you for coming through if you're new. But if you're already a part of the crew, salute. So let's go ahead and see what comes inside the box. I actually did get this from Metro, but after six months of paying on my plan, I, what I did was I actually got, you know, um, this thing unlocked. So right now I'm using it on T-Mobile. And one thing I noticed is that this thing completely switched over to like the T-Mobile network right here. You can see it does have like the T-Mobile apps in here now. So I, I basically, disabled all the metro ones that were on here and now it's rocking all the t-mobile ones so this thing does have plenty of storage to mess around with first of all you're getting about 128 gigabytes of internal storage so i haven't taken that many photos and videos with this thing yet but it's been holding up very well when it's come to like taking videos and photography so one of the things i noticed about the camera on here is is that it's very stable when it comes to shooting video it's like extremely stable it has a wide angle camera which is stable as well as a main 50 megapixel camera and this device is a 6.8 inch display 8.1 inches so it's very nice it also does have a really smooth software and and good internals and i'm going to jump into that in just a second uh, so right now it does have, um, a, you know, a pretty decent battery. Like right now I'm on 29% and I've been using it all day long. I, I woke up around, you know, six, I would say six forty five or something like that. And I've been using it all day ever since. And you can see this thing just stands out when it comes to the display on here is really nice with a punch hole in the middle. And so you're getting a pretty decent selfie camera with that punch hole, 13 megapixel camera in there. And you can see some of the software on here. So this thing has really good animations. I really like how that settings thing shifts up when, when you move that. Also, like the icons that are stock on here, like the settings app. If I go back, you can see that one will spin. And the, on the contacts one right here, if I go back it moves so like they that all the stock icons have like a really nice flair to them cool animations and everything just seems to flow really nicely on here now this is a 60 hertz display but it for me it, it, it feels really quick I, I i don't even care that it doesn't have 90 hertz on here and you know um it does record at 1080 30 at the highest resolution so I'm going to get into that in just a second, but you know, like you can see how fast this thing moves. It has NFC Wi-Fi calling. It does have screen recorder as well as hotspot and nearby, you know, share. You get, you know, um, software updates every now and then on this device. So right here, if I click software updates, I did download one that brought me to the November 2023 software update. And so this thing has actually been running pretty smooth so far when it's when it comes to the overall um, usage out of here. So you, you can see right here this camera setup. I really like the way that the back of this phone looks. It's got like a sandpaper look to it, but it actually just feels really smooth. This this surface feels extremely smooth. It's like very, very, very smooth and it doesn't attract fingerprints that much or oils it will attract. You can see that if your hands get sweaty and you hold this and then it's going to show like a little bit of oils on there. It also does have a two megapixel macro, two megapixel depth camera. The side mounted fingerprint right here works actually really good. I like how the animations jump out when you unlock it. You can see those like the animation, the icons move on the bottom row and in the, the ones in the home screen pop out making it look really cool when you unlock it you also get your facial recognition on this device and right there you can see it will unlock pretty quickly it'll tell you there's no match 
if you do get a you know a bad scan right right now i'm getting a bad scan because i got like headphones on but there we go it did work that time so when it comes to browsing social media on this thing it's actually a really nice device you can get through your social media really quickly i did notice that the most recent apps trey has this icon right here you can click and get to all your apps um, right here so you can actually see all the apps that you're using that are open and it just makes it easier then it also gives you your ram optimization right here so you can clean it out but I, I really like that folder you also get the ability to use it in um, this little small mode so you can actually make it bigger by dragging the corner and you can make it bigger or smaller so it's got some really good software when it comes to the quick like the this thing because if like let's say i go into facebook if i drag that up all i have to do is like click this button and then it's going to open up two apps at one single time so you can switch them right here this gives you the ability to switch them you can choose a different app you can make one of them smaller so you, i could shrink this one and now i can mess around with this on the top So you can see how small it is. And then if it's too small, you could go ahead and expand it out, make it a little bit bigger. And then you could even fold it and make it a small icon on the background so that you could use it for another time. So with the four gigabytes of RAM, this thing does have some pretty decent multitasking. You also do get that stylus pen that gives you, you know, the split screen automatically. So when you hit that immediately, you could jump right into your split screen this thing does also have app lock so first like for um if you were going to use um, banking apps on here let me show you let me close this guy right here but let's say i was to open up chase you can see you get your your protection right there inside that any um app that requires your fingerprint you can make it into an app lock so this thing has plenty of features to choose around. You also do have your smart calculator, which can do math for you when you like draw it out. So it's going to do the math for you. That actually works really well. You have your smart notes application, which if you want to create a note, it's very straightforward. Import as a PDF or make a new page. And it gives you the ability to draw on here and basically do um, notes. So you're going to be able to um, get a lot of work done on this device when it comes to like taking notes on this device. So, you know, I think this is going to be a nice thing. It doesn't have palm rejection, so you will have to draw with your fingers off of the display and just kind of hold it like how I'm holding it right now. You get your e-signature. So when you want to sign documents, you can just import that right in. You can save that. Now you got it saved to the gallery, so you could basically paste that into somewhere where it's asking for your signature. Um, quick screenshot, so you could get to that really quickly. This thing also does have like a magnifying glass, so if you have bad eyesight, it will allow you to see the screen a lot more easier with the magnifying glass. And then, you know, you have a couple of other shortcuts here to play around with. And then obviously you can add a couple of your own right here just by clicking this little icon and it will bring up a bunch of other options here so you have <clears throat> some additional ones like floating window down there which is kind of cool that they have that i might add that floating window and then if you go in right here you're going to notice that the f the floating window um should be down there i don't see it but whatever and then <clears throat> This thing does also have a really nice one-handed operation mode for when you're typing. So I like that because when I'm typing on here, I can use one-handed operation by making the app shrink down to this, the smaller size. And then if you, what you can also do is customize it. And the, I, the options right here, you can make it 3.5, 4 inches, 4.5, but you can actually customize it. And if you customize it, it's going to allow you to drag that out, making it a little bit bigger. So it says 
right here that you can basically you could just customize that or whatever but um i'm gonna get into that later but i really like how the the brightness widget or icon right here in the notification tray is it's like one of the panels that's pretty cool then you can also control the volume the same way which is really dope you have screencast so this does work on my tcl tv when i want to actually use it while um browsing like a something that's on my phone i could put it up to my tv and make it watch it on the bigger screen and you get your nfc as well as your torch so if i go into the camera the, the camera is actually really good on here um, the camera is going to have your auto, your video, which goes up to 1080 right here with image stabilization is actually pretty good. So I'm going to show you a sample of the camera in video mode. And then you have your front portrait, high pixel, 50 megapixel shots, and then your super macro. But you don't have, you know, um, night mode on this device. So I just kind of want to mention that. But you do get your AI mode and your filters as well so you can customize that and then you do get stop motion pro panel light trace slow motion as well on here so really good camera really good um the battery is actually let me show you my battery and then i'll get out of here wrap up the video but if you're still here just type down below in the comment section i'm still here so i know you're still kicking it with me and i just remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people and help beat the youtube algorithm okay so you get your you know gesture your notifications inside the gestures your power key to do shortcuts and then you get your gestures three finger sh screenshot will take if you press three fingers it's going to take a screenshot flip to mute three finger regional screenshot and then you get your split screen gesture when you actually swipe up with three fingers it will do that in port in compatible apps then you get your double tap to wake and that's another thing that I like is that you can double tap it and then it will wake up or it will um, turn off. So there's a lot of really cool features with this device. You do get your off note memo on here so you could pull out the pen and jot down somebody's phone number real quick. Um, and the pen does feel very responsive um, overall. So, you know, um, it's definitely going to be a solid phone for, you know, getting a lot of stuff done. Now, when it comes to gaming, it does have its own dedicated gaming folder inside of the TCL app. So you do get your smart manager, which manages your battery, cleans it up, auto start, as well as memory. And then the app lock that I was talking about, where you can choose between locking certain apps. If I go into my usage, you can see that 15 hours ago, I was at 100%. And now I'm at 26. You can see my battery drain. I don't think this thing shows screen on time, but you know, you could kind of calculate that by looking at my the my the which apps I've been using the most, and you could kind of see like these apps right here are gonna require screen on time, like shopping apps, Twitter, all that stuff. So I would say about five hours of screen on time that I got on this device. You also get your power savings mode and your normal power savings mode. And so, yeah, like I said, this is a really solid device. You get your game in. So you get game turbo next vision, which actually makes the screen look more vivid. Mini notifications, which actually helps when you're getting notifications. You can optimize your network. You can add different games in here to optimize those. So let's just jump into a little bit of like PUBG on here real quick. All right, guys. So when it comes to gaming, we are rocking the Dimensity 700. And what I just noticed is that it's very responsive to the touch. So the touch display feels really good when it comes to response time. So which with that basically means that when you're gaming on here, it's going to be very smooth. So I just got two kills, no issues whatsoever. Um, it's managing to run really nice on four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, so that's kind of impressive. Um, let me see if I can get another kill. 
It also does have the um, Mali G57 MC2 on here. So obviously you can see the graphics do appear to look really good. I just got like four kills in a row. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, the gameplay is very good. I could keep playing because um, this is too easy right now. But yeah, um, I definitely like using this when it comes to gaming. With the huge display, this is going to be really nice for gaming. Uh, we were just catching a lot multiple kills so yeah um the software that this is running on i gotta say it's very nice uh let's go into display you can see like some customizable options here as far as color the temperature of the display you can change that um and then the other thing is you get this next vision uh, right now it's off so I think I have some type of battery saving mode on oh there we go the eye comfort mode was on the whole time and I didn't even know that so yeah at full brightness it's pretty bright um, it gets pretty dim to save battery as well but I, I maxed that thing out at full brightness all day long and so I'm pretty much able to get a whole day when it comes to the battery on this device and after about a year and seven months of using it i could still highly recommend it i think it's a really solid fast budget phone and it's operating on the november 2023 software update which a lot of my other phones are actually rocking so hopefully it's going to get some new updates in the future it probably won't get android 13 but i still think that this device has a really nice ui and the when it comes to the updates let me just show you right now you would basically just go down right here where it says system and you would go right here and then you can see it's on the tcl ui 4.06 ev bv so um this thing is really nice i really like using the tcl but let me know what you guys think if you're still here just type down below i'm still here so i know you're still kicking it with me and i'll hit you back i'll check you guys later peace